So I get the pleasure of greeting everyone as you come in during orientation, and I, that might have been the last time like your class was assembled in this room. So I'm really excited for you guys. Congratulations. I know the next few weeks there's a lot. Yes, you can clap, Elise. So, and you guys are like, what's mandatory about this meeting? What do we need to know? But there is a lot between now and commencement day, and this meeting, we use regalia to get you in the door, but this meeting covers a lot of kind of nuts and bolts of things that you need to get from now to commencement and to the bar exam, so we wanna make sure that we give the information to you. We know that there are people who can't physically be here because of conflicts or they're you know, doing exciting things across the country with semester in practice, so we are recording this session and once we have the link, we will send it out to you. But those people did not get the regalia. They did not get their graduation announcements. So we really appreciate you being here in person. Um, and so we have a pretty full agenda. So we're going to go through it um, in order. I don't think you got a copy of it, but we'll go through a lot of the information that's in your handout, answer any questions that you have. But we're going to start with um, Sean Keeley, um, 3L rep from the SBA. All right. All right, hi everyone. I'm um, just gonna make a couple announcements for SBA. Uh, first of all, congratulations to everyone from SBA. Uh, it's been a long three years and I know most of you are ready to go, but before we go, um, we do ask that you take part in voting for faculty member, sta staff member, and professor adjunct of the year. Um, you should have received an email for, from Manta and the corresponding secretary of SBA. Um, look in the Facebook group. We do have a Twitter page that is going up, uh, which we are revamping. So we have every bit of social media covered. You have no reason not to vote. Uh, so keep looking out for notifications and we will keep bugging you for that. Um, also, SBA asks, even though we are on our way out, uh, there are two more years before us uh, who will be running our groups and organizations next year. Uh, we do ask that you do take part in those elections as well. Uh, the success that we've given, we'd like to continue on. Uh, so don't neglect it. Uh, if you are a president of an organization, please do set up your elections. Please do reach out to those because we do want those to succeed as well. Uh, those groups are probably the most important parts of our school uh, for students besides going to class. Um, and just a quick recognition for those that were in SBA uh, this year. It was myself as a 3L rep. We had Jamie Spinella as a 3L rep. <clears throat> We had Manta Dirks, who was our corresponding secretary, who sent out our weekly emails every single week. And then we also had Jess Trillo, who was our ABA representative, and did some great job there. So, uh, so next up, that's, that's all for me. I get to sit in the nice chair again. Uh, so we're going to have uh, financial aid announcements from Catherine Palatano. Hi everybody, I just have uh, three quick announcements to make. Um, the final things you need to do as you prepare to leave is um, getting your loan counseling done. So if you've borrowed a federal loan um, at any point during your time here, you'll wanna complete exit counseling. We're having a session next week on the 18th. We're having a representative from Access Lex come in, someone who, is you know well versed in repayment options and and so forth they're going to come in and present um, to um, anyone who's able to make that particular session we're also taking individual appointments so uh, feel free to contact our office stop by to set up an appointment with your counselor so if your last name is a to k you'll meet with me if it's l to z you'll meet with tina um, another item is the um, bar loans, uh, so if you are interested in borrowing a bar loan, um, private bar loan, uh, feel free to come by our office and we have information um, on that. And the pill wrap, I was trying to think of the last thing. So uh, we also have a loan repayment, um, we have a loan repayment program, so next year, um, if you're doing um, public interest work and you are interested in our um, public interest loan repayment program. We will have information on the website. Um, we have information on it now, so you can look at the website now and see what the program is all about and if you'll qualify. And then if you um, are interested in it, next year, as of March 1, we'll have the new applications that you would all be eligible to apply for. Um, thank you. Uh, 
thanks. Now, some a uh, couple of announcements from the registrar's office and student finance. Uh, most importantly, is still um, we're still looking for a couple uh, pro bono paperwork from you. Uh, one of your requirements. Uh, the due date's April 18th. Make sure they're signed by the appropriate people and uh, to um, the pro bono folks so they can get that over to us. Um, also, obviously, your writing requirement and uh, any incompletes, uh, May 1st deadline for incompletes, so we can get those grades processed and on, on your transcript and ready to go. Um, and, and also to make sure that if any uh, problems come up, we can take care of those um, in, in the first week of May. Um, bar paperwork, uh, you know, you're probably well into that now, but please, if you have any questions on that, please stop by the office. Um, all bar paperwork from wherever you're going to sit must come through our office, um, so please do that. Um, Balances, if uh, you have any balances, uh, we had a statement uh, go out on April 5th. Uh, please uh, look at that statement, make sure you don't have any balance, um, and please take care of that by May 1st as well. Um, there will be an email from me later on today. Uh, at some point, um, Exam Software has another update where I know you're on your last cycle, so you don't care. However, <laughs> it, it, it's helpful. Uh, it's going to fix that weird um, anonymous number uh, issue where you were seeing your last one. So, um, hey, yay. Um, <laughs> and also, we do have the exam schedules online now as a reminder for take homes and for in class. And uh, right here, we have our key return box. Um, you know, if you have any issues with that, you can see Sue Principe in the, the Dean Suite, but um, just have your name and um, locker number on that envelope, and um, we'll, Sue will take care of the recording of that. If there's any questions, you can, like I said, see them downstairs. Uh, that is it. Next, we have Brittany Raposa from Bar Support. Welcome. Hi. So, <laughs> I know, like all of you, so I'm going to miss you guys um, a lot. But, um, so there's this thing that you have to take after you graduate called the bar exam. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, I feel like I bring this like cloud of darkness because I'm like the bar exam cloud. But, um, but I'm going to be positive today. Um, so please study for it is the first thing. <laughs> um, if, if you don't have a bar review course yet, please talk to me. Please get one. Um, if you don't know which one you want, just talk to me about it and let me know. John Pierre is an advocate of Kaplan, so... <laughs> Um, there's that. Um, bar applications are due soon for most jurisdictions, if not already. So April 30th is a deadline coming up. May 1st is a deadline for Rhode Island coming up. Uh, May 11th is the deadline for Massachusetts coming up. So if you want me to review your applications, open door every Tuesday or by appointment at any time. So just let me know. Um, I'm here all summer to support you while you're studying for the bar. If you want to come in and talk about anything, if you want to cry, if you want to laugh, if you want some Oreos, like I'm here for you. <laughs> for any reason that you need. Um, I'll be doing some bar support events throughout the summer to kind of not only de to de-stress, but just to help you while you study. And of course, I'll still be doing the supplemental bar review every Saturday throughout the summer. So we're doing our kickstart portion now. And um, so that's every Saturday until you graduate. And then we are doing, I will do it throughout the summer and a schedule will go out for that. Um, as well, but otherwise, I'm here to support you. You're all going to pass the bar. I'm going to miss all of you, but I'll see you later this week in class. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, first of all, congratulations on graduating. It's very exciting. Um, we're excited for you. I hope graduation day is not rainy. Um, so this first thing that I have for career development is this yellow form that hopefully you've all filled out and stuck in that basket right over there. Um, this information is really important to our office, um, particularly, you know, if you have a job already, but also if you're still looking, um, what states you're thinking of taking the bar exam in and things like that. And the reason this is important information for our office is because there are so many opportunities that come through our office from employers throughout the years after you graduate where there's, you know, they ask us, we're looking for someone who's barred in Massachusetts, barred in Connecticut, you know, can, is this, are there any, um, you know, alumni that you can think of? 
we reach out to you and ask you if this is something that you're interested in. This is also why we need your update contact information. It's really important. This is not to bother you. We are only looking for you so that we can help you. Um, and so please put the email address that you will most likely be using after graduation, even if it's your Roger Williams one, whichever one would be the most useful to reach you at. Um, this other, it's not if you'll find a job, it's when, is our positive affirmation sheet for you to read through. Um, you will find a job. It takes some others, some longer than others, but you will, and we are here to help you. We work with a ton of our alumni years after law school graduation. If they're switching careers, if they're just starting out, if they're doing you know, all sorts of things, we work with all different years. Um, you know, you become part of our network now, and we love to have alumni back on campus for career development panels and things like that so that you can talk about your experiences for future generations that graduate. And we have a really good relationship with a lot of our alumni, and we um, really, you know, hope to continue that. And you guys are, you know, like I said, the fabric of our network now, and we really um, appreciate your help, too, um, sort of passing on your knowledge to future generations of law grads. Um, if you need us, we're also here during the summer, um, all summer long, and you can come and see us make appointments. Um, and you can also cry in our office and then go to Brittany's and eat Oreos. <laughs> um, but thank you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to come and see us. Okay, now on to the fun stuff. Graduation. <laughs> So um, my name is Margie. I am uh, not in Bristol. I'm in Providence with the clinical programs. Have been have thank you. <laughs> have been here for too long. No, no. Um, so I want to talk to you about that day because after all, it's the most important day of your three years because you're finally done and moving on to just one more small hurdle, and then I look forward to seeing everybody's name with Esquire at the end of it. So um, I'm going to go over what's going to happen that day. But the first thing I want to talk about is Glenn Manor. So if you've signed up on the sheet for Glenn Manor, you do not have to respond through email. If you haven't signed up for Glenn Manor, what is wrong with you? You have to go to Glenn Manor. It is the event of your three years, I promise. It's, it's a great event. If you're thinking about, oh, I don't want to go, then stop thinking that way and go. Because it's, your, it's the day that you get to spend with the people who were tortured for three years just like you. So it's your day to enjoy and start to think about the fact that you made it and you only have to graduate and then that's it. So if you haven't already signed up for Glenn Manor, please sign up and um, you, I, there'll be a photographer there. The photographers take plenty of pictures. And it's just a great time. And they have great food. And they have drinks. And you get to just chill out and enjoy the scenery. So if you haven't signed up, please sign up for that. Now let's talk about graduation. So um, you need to arrive by we you have to I have to have you all dressed by 1115 so do not get there any later than 1030 the reason I say that is because the inevitable will happen there'll be an accident there'll be traffic you'll be running late and then it's very hard to get all of you dressed up and ready to go in 45 minutes especially because you're going to want to spend time with your classmates and you're going to want to take a whole bunch of candid pictures and and it starts you start to realize that oh my god we're done here so i i really need you to make sure that you're there by no later than 10 30. we will have snacks and refreshments for you so if you didn't get time to eat we, we always have snacks there for you um nobody should be in the recreation center room with you except other graduates so don't please don't take your family in um, just because it, it's too chaotic it, there's too much going on in that room we have a lot to accomplish in that 45 minutes so it takes probably 15 or 20 minutes just to get everybody situated on the bleachers to be able to take a class picture and you may think that's easy but it's not trying to 
push everybody in and get a nice picture and who's taller than the other person and blocking them and who's doing this. So uh, it's really important that you get there early so that nobody's rushing and so that you're enjoying the prep before your actual last walk here. So um, as far as when you get in there, do not put your regalia on ahead of time because it's heavy and it's warm. And even if it's cold outside, I promise you it's not going to be cold in the auditorium where we are. So do not put the regalia on ahead of time. I want you to be able to walk around, have a snack, congratulate your friends, spend a little time with your friends. I will not uh, start robing people for probably, uh, I'm going to say it's like 30 minutes before I'll start. And we'll, we'll have a lot of help in there, so there'll be uh, staff in that room with you to help you to get dressed, to help you with your hat and your... Um, your regalia and everything that we have to do. So don't get dressed, just take it on a hanger and, and we'll help you when, when you get there after you've had a little time to sort of um, talk to each other and enjoy the day. So one of the things that um, is going to happen in there is there'll be a photographer in there taking candid pictures of you. Um, if you have a special group that you want to take a picture with, you should track down the photographer who's in there so that she'll be able to take a picture with you and your friends. Um, you probably want to ask for some information so that if you want to copy that picture, you can get it. But they, they take great candids and they'll take a ton of pictures. So that'll be an opportunity for you to do that. Um, do not take a whole bunch of stuff into that room with you because you're not going to be walking in with like, a big handbag and you know an extra pair of shoes and all of that stuff so keep anything that you are going to take into that room with you at a minimum because there's nobody really to watch it while we're at commencement and you really you shouldn't be commencing with a pair of shoes in your hands or a hat or an umbrella or whatever so I would say try to take as few things as possible in there give your, your personal belongings to your family to take into the tent with them, or put them somewhere in the school where you know you can get them, okay? So it's very important that you don't take a lot of stuff. Um, so when we, when we get into the um, gymnasium, there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to do. So one of the things, obviously, is to spend some time congratulating each other, and, and I think it really hits you that morning that you're finally done, and you're on to the next thing. So we, you will spend some time doing that. We'll have a whole bunch of staff members in there that will help you with, um, with your hooding, which is a big deal because a lot of them uh, are different sizes, different lengths. Don't worry about any of that, but I do need you all to make sure that your hat fits the right way. So if you're going to wear, guys or girls, if you're going to wear your hair up, then try the, try the TM on with your hair up because a lot of people that morning figure out that their hat's either too big or too small. So you need to make sure, and I know some of you had it on, so you need to make sure that it fits properly, okay? Because we don't have extras. They're ordered specifically for you, so if it doesn't fit that day, you're out of luck, okay? So please don't leave your entire regalia in a bag until commencement morning and then think that it's going to be okay, because it's not. You'll probably have a regalia that either touches your toes or goes up above your knees and you're not going to be happy. And you might have a hat that's either too big or too small and you're going to have a big mark on your head or it's going to be falling off all the way into the tent. So th be very careful to make sure that after all the money you spent, you look good on your commencement day, okay? So... Um, when you get into the gym, I will be, well, the, the whole staff will be handing out a card with your name on it, because the question that everybody asks is, do we have to sit in alphabetical order? Absolutely not. You may have somebody that you don't want to sit next to in alphabetical <laughs> order. So my goal is to have this be a happy day for you, and don't point other people out, that's embarrassing. <laughs> But my goal is, to, or our goal is to have you sit with your friends. So I'm going to just explain the way 
what happens on commencement day. We sit you in whatever order you want to be with your friends in front of or in back of you. So when we process into the tent, there are two lines. Anybody in the left-hand line goes to the left of the stage. Anybody in the right-hand line goes to the right of the stage. So if you and your friends are gonna line up side by each, it's not gonna work because they're gonna go on the other side of the, of the tent. Okay, so you need to make sure that they're in front of you. And I'll say this again when we're in the gymnasium, but you need to make sure that they're in front of and back of you, okay? And there's only so many seats in each row. So if you have, if you are Miss Popularity or Mr. Popularity and you have 45 friends, sorry, they're not all gonna be with you. <laughs> <laughs> so how many people in here are Mr. Popularity? Huh? Yeah, see, nobody wants to admit it. But in any case, um, you really have to make sure that you do the right, do it the right way. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna get into that tent, and all of a sudden your friends are gonna disappear on the other side. <laughs> Not cool. So in any case, may, I'll repeat this, but no alphabetical letter. Because guess what? When you go up on to the stage, you don't really get your diploma. You get an empty <laughs> container <laughs> with no diploma in it. So. <laughs> So no worries, you don't have to worry about you getting the wrong one. You're not getting one at all until you go back and hand in your regalia and, and you get your big you get your diploma, okay? So so I know everybody's disappointed with that, but oh well. Um so as we as we get lined up, I'll line everybody up. Yep. No, you're gonna get them that day, right? Yeah, that you, we usually put them in a big, they put them in a great big envelope and you get them that day. They used to put your grades in there, but I'm not sure if they still do that. Yeah. 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 Wow. I think most of you will know ahead of time what your grades are, I would assume, but in case there's any last minute grades. I, maybe they don't do that anymore. I've been here too long. Anyway, so what, what's going to happen is, we need to get you lined up and ready to go by no later than 12.30. And so it takes a while for us to do that because who has to go to the bathroom and who needs one more thing and who forgot they're this or they're that or whatever. So I do, it's not a lot of time. It's gonna go by really fast. But once I get you all lined up, when you're in line, you're in line and you can't get out or move because all the seats are numbered. So once you're in line, there's only so many seats in a row. So if you decide you're gonna go somewhere else, you're not gonna have a chair for your butt when you get in there. So don't do it. Once I get you lined up, that's it, you're there. You're in that seat and that's it. We count everybody off to make sure everybody has a seat, but there are no extras, okay? So all of this stuff I'll retell you, but I just want people to know this is the way it's gonna be for that day. Um, let me see. The cards that you're gonna get with your names on them, some of you may have names that have a different pronunciation the way, than the way it looks. What you need to do is you need to, as soon as we're done here, Dean Hassel is in that room in back of us, go in there, say your name to her, she'll phonetically put it on the back of your card, and then she will record it so that she can practice it because Yes, so yes, so she's the one that's gonna be on stage and what's gonna happen is we'll give you your, your cards with your names on them that morning after we get you all robed and you will hold on to that card for dear life because she doesn't know all of your exact names, sorry. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hand her that card when you get up to the stage, she's gonna announce it and then you're gonna walk across and get your diploma. Okay, so, or your fake diploma. So, in any case, um, if you have a name that you think she's not gonna pronounce right, you need to stand in line over here and one by one just go in, she'll record your name and she'll write it phonetically so she'll remember how to say it. And if all else fails, whisper it to her when you get to the top of the stage. Um, okay, so, when we get you all lined up, we'll come out of the recreation center about 10 minutes before it's time to go, after everyone's lined up. And when you get out there, you'll see that all of the faculty are out there and the board of trustees and all the important people, and they're all out there for you, basically. So it's a really great 
uh, feeling, I think, when you see that the entire faculty, administration are all there for you, uh, spending the day to celebrate your accomplishments. But they'll all be there. Your family obviously can take pictures and stuff, but it's really just about you staying there. Do not leave once I get you lined up. Please, don't leave. So um, if you do have personal belongings, make sure that you give them to your family ahead of time so that you don't have to worry about them, okay? We'll stand there for about 10 minutes, and then we'll start to process and to the uh, pipe and drums, right? So we will, uh, it's a, I can't express to you enough how fabulous that day is, uh, rain or shine. Um, but that being said, one of the most important things I want everybody to think about, especially the females, is what you are wearing, the shoes especially. So we have had commencements that it was pouring rain, torrential, sorry, we're still walking, and we have had days where it's 150 degrees, it feels like, with the regalia on. So you need to pay attention to the weather forecast, and you need to make sure you dress appropriately. So you don't want to wear heavy clothing if, it's gonna, if the forecast is 90 degrees, because the regalia very, is very heavy and it's very warm. And sorry, there's no air conditioning in the tent. So you need to pay attention to that. The second thing is, especially for the females, don't wear those tall skinny heels because you'll be stuck in the grass, I promise. <laughs> and then, instead of having a good pitch, you're gonna be having a picture like this <laughs> with you trying to get out of the grass with your heels. So don't do it. <laughs> so I would, if I would su suggest that what you wear is wedgies if you're gonna wear heels, or something with a wide heel like a, a, the, you know, the block, block heels, okay? So, and guys, we don't care what you wear as long as, you know, as long as you're comfortable. So, um, yes, somebody, oh, please, every year I have at least one joker who I say, I don't want to see hairy legs, men or women, on the stage. So please don't wear flip-flops and shorts under your regalia, because it doesn't look good. It especially doesn't look good if you get hairy legs. So... <laughs> You don't want your parents and your family to be embarrassed, so please shave your legs <laughs> or <laughs> don't wear flip-flops. Um, and the second thing about the flip-flops is you're going up on several stairs to the stage and it's makeshift stairs. It's not something that's permanent, so you don't want to be falling <laughs> onto the stage. It's, it won't look good. <laughs> so you really have to pay attention to that. So do, do not wear flip-flops, do not wear spike heels, because um, you'll be falling as you go in. So, um, let me see. When we get into the tent, everybody, and I'll tell you this again on graduation day, but when we get into the tent, everybody remains standing. We're gonna do the national anthem. The men take your hats off, then you put it back on. The women, no, you don't have to. But make sure that everybody takes their hats off while we do the national anthem and then puts them back on. Everybody stand until the dean tells you that it's time to sit, okay? So everybody remains standing. Um, if anybody has any special needs, make sure that you see uh, Charlotte or Chelsea to make, to make sure that those needs are met. Um, if, you have if you need handicapped seating, make sure you sign up for that, for, your, for whatever family members. They will have, they generally have the golf carts to take them to the handicapped seating area. So do that ahead of time so that any family members that have a problem with mobility will make sure that they have a ride over to their seats, okay? So I think that's about it. I don't know if anybody has any questions. I think I probably covered it all. But if you do, you can go to Chelsea's office and ask um, her or ask Charlotte. They, they're experts. Um, my clinical people can certainly come into my office. I love to see you. So. You can ask me anything you want. So any questions? Awesome, see how great? I answered them all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Hennan. I am uh, one of your librarians, one of your librarians for life. Even after you leave here, we are still your librarians. Um, but I am also an alumni, um, and two years ago I was in your seat right now. So when Margie tells you to show up early, 
because time goes fast, trust me, it goes really fast, and you want to get as many selfies in with your friends as possible. Um, so today I'm actually here to talk to you about the Law Alumni Association. Um, the Law Alumni Association is governed, governed by 16 board members. The current president is Jillian Jagling, a 2009 graduate, and all of you are welcome to join. Um, the association is alumni owned, and it serves um, as an excellent network as you venture past these walls. Um, I invite you all to get involved in the um, Law Alumni Association and to attend um, events that are held locally and regionally. So even if you're not sticking around here after graduation, there are events that are held all around. Um, please keep the Law Alumni Office updated with all of your information, so like your new address, where you're employed, um, your email, all of that is mainly just to keep in contact with you to um, make sure that you're getting, getting invited to events, receiving updated publications, you know, keeping you in the know. Um, I want to tell you about um, an event that will be coming up in the summer. There is a, um, our, the annual Law Alumni Association uh, breakfast meeting. It'll be Thursday, June 21st. Um, at 7.45 in the morning, I know, super early, um, at the Rhode Island Convention Center. There will be judges, attorneys, alumni there. Um, it's right before the Rhode Island um, Bar Annual Meeting. Um, it's a really wonderful network opportunity. I also know that it's right in the thick of studying for the bar. So it could be nice to take a break and get some free food. Um, but and take just a, take a little study break. Um, also, keep your eyes out for some more information about the Law Alumni Weekend that happens every fall. You'll all be invited to that. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Megan Hansen in the, law, in the alumni office um, or to email lawalumni at rwu.edu. They are able to help you with any questions in the future. Um, and I just wanted to say, I wanted to end by saying congratulations. You um, are all wonderful and I am so happy for all of you. Some people are going to have it to the below the knee, and some of them are going to have it right above the ankle. And that's fine. Either way, that's fine. Um, because they are just rentals. They're not made for you. As far as the tans go, uh, we want them to fit you, but they're never going to fit you exact either because they weren't custom made. But what Maji means is like you don't want them to be like you can roll them around your head. Uh, you know, if you can spin them around your head, something's wrong. But if it's a little I think I talked loud enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, 
you can put bobby pins, well men can't, but well you could if you want to, but uh, <laughs> you can put bobby pins to hold it down. You don't want it tight, because if you get tight, what's gonna happen, not only the mock, you're gonna have a headache. Because they, they will, they give you a headache, it's, it's pressure. Um, I know you guys didn't go to you know, med school, but it will give you pressure. But <laughs> so anyways, so that's about it with that, with about the regalia. So unfortunately, like I said, there is a deadline. Um, the store will be open that day, so family and friends can come in. And I, I really, I don't even care if you guys really buy anything. I really like to see your parents. I mean, most of them I've seen in the first, I always say to parents, I see you on the first day, I see you on the last day. So I kind of like that, I like to see you know, them again, or if I hadn't met them, to see where you guys came from. <laughs> you know, I, I really enjoy that, but we'll be open. Um, so if they want to come in, we'll have frames there and different things like that. Um, and as far as, um, Returning your regalias, as you all know, these are rentals. What's going to happen is they're going to do the commencement. The commencement doesn't really last so long, and it's absolutely beautiful. You really like it. Um, after the commencement is done, you know, you have a few, you have a little while if you want to take pictures with your your parents or whatever you want to do with your gowns. But around 2:45 or so, uh, three o'clock tops, we want them back at the um, the gym. And what they do is it's the, the uh, rec what do they call it? Recreation, yeah, the recreation center. And what they have is they're gonna have a couple of um, tables set up. The first table is gonna be from um, the student finance and records. And uh, the first table is gonna be mine, I'm sorry, it'll be mine. And there we receive your regalia back and your cap and your gown and your hood, it's three pieces. We're gonna give you a card. You're going to take that card over to the student rec uh, records. You give them the card plus that little um, diploma cover. The reason why you get that diploma cover is the diplomas are big. You don't want to be walking around with that. So you're going to give that back, and that's when they give you your diploma. Now, if something happens, we're open until 3 o'clock. If you get to the gym a little late and nobody's there to get your regalia, don't freak out. Okay, you can come over, you won't be able to get your diploma right then and there, but at least you can go back to the bookstore and return the, the, um, the regalia and I can give you your, um, your card. We don't want anybody to be stressed. This is your day, so you know, we'll work around it. But you know, try to be there for three, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, show how to put them on. Although Maji will help you there, it just helps to see what you have. So, I don't know what to do with this. I think I can turn it off now. No, I want you to do Now, this is not going to fit mine. Because mine is short, like I am. Excuse me. <laughs> Vertically <laughs> challenged. Yeah, and we usually have to get very small ones. I thought this is not one. And as far as them being big, this way, there's really, we can't get them any smaller. So this is your row. They have to have like a very short row for me to fit. Do I? And this is, this is, yeah, you look like a yeah, I like I'm going to sing quiet. This is your, stop singing. Oh! And this is your, this, this is your hood. Now, the hood has these little, that's how you know this is the front. Put it over your head, and you have to pin that. They so, have thought, you have pins yep, there, right? They'll we, have we will pin it for you. They'll pin it for you. Because you don't want it to be choking you. Because it will be choking you if you don't pin it. <laughs> <laughs> you do Unless we don't like you, then we'll choke yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can see anyone there yet. No. And then there's a button in the back. And you just put the... I'm going to turn it so they can see it. Okay. They're, gonna, they're going to put this over your button. So you look very nice. And... And then the colors show this way. And if you want to know why, the purple is the color of your degree. So if you don't like purple, you shouldn't be going white. But that's not a lot. But number, maybe you should have known that before, right? And then the um, 
the cults and the back of Boston School of Cults. Okay, and now the hands have a little seed. So you put the seed and then you push it down. <laughs> I think my head grew, I don't know. Okay. Just, we want them to go here. We don't want them this way. None of this, none of this. She won't let them go on stage. None of this. And the final thing I want to tell you guys, and I even know that you're going to be shocked that I'm saying this, but I get asked this every year. Can we decorate the tans? And you know, I love to have fun. But we are in law school. This is a law school graduation. I'm going to say no. <laughs> so I really don't want to see all that stuff, okay? And that's about it. Any questions? And you can't keep the little tassels. No, because it goes well. It's Sorry, it's, it's glued to it. Yeah, it's glued to it. Please don't pull that off. <laughs> Please. So is there any questions or anything? Everybody's happy, happy? Good. Done? Now, if you have a name that you are worried about, Dean Hassel being able to pronounce it. Please go that way. And she is waiting for you. Congratulations, everyone.